Hi everybody, I'm David Burns with the Backyard Getaway. Welcome to the Backyard Buzz Show. This show is all about testing products here. We have a product here today with Tetra. Thank you so much Tetra for letting us have this to show everybody out there about Tetra bead filter. Now, there's on this bead filter here, this you can actually put in the ground and you want to bury it up to its neck right here. Okay? Now, there's a lot of filters out there where you got to pull out the filters, rinse them off, get all that fish poop and worms and everything over. Then your wife wants to come over and give you a hug. Oh, come here, honey. Okay. Oh, man, did I get that all over you? Well, no more, guys. This is done. Clean hands. No more gloves. What runs this right, this baby right here, is a 2400 to a 4500 pump. You don't want to go any bigger than that, because if you do, you're going to blow this top right off. Pow! That's it. You're done. Now you got to go get another one. But watching us today, you're going to do everything right. Now you can enjoy your pot. Now, when you've got your pump, you're going to stick it in down in the pond. You're going to bring your hoses out of the pond. Now you got one and a quarter and you got one and a half here and you got your little knobby so you can feel each one now once you get this on here you take a clamp you put it around your holes and you can clamp it down once you get this clamp just bring it over here and this screws right on this, this, these are so easy to do except it's kind of hard for me because I'm kind of on an angle it just goes right on here like this there you go now you got it now we're going to drop them now, I'm kind of going ahead a little bit. I, what I really need to tell you is, you need to take this top off. Okay, you want to get this buried. Now, you don't want to bury it any deeper to about right here. You want to get be able to get these handles off. Now, yes, you can have this above ground if you like. But I like to have them just a little buried, just enough where you can take this handle and it comes down here and lays down here. Because you want to make sure that it's just a little bit below because that helps it so the dirt doesn't get in here. And then you're going to get dirt in here and then you're going to be fighting with this trying to get this on. But I'm going to try to show you where this thing is just going to pop right off. Now I'm going to kind of jump ahead a little bit because I'm kind of excited about this. This is a really neat thing that they have done. Um, Right here, when your water is actually coming into the intake and it's coming in, water actually squeezes through here. What that does is when this water is shooting through here, it's spinning like your washing machine would. It would go real fast. Now, was it spinning? This is even better. These are all beads. They give you two full bags. Now, what these beads do is they build all the good bacteria up inside of them. All right? Now, before you put these beads inside of here, we're going to add about half a water in here. You want to just take that water and just take it right about, right to about this level here. Then, you're going to want to take all these beads and the ones in the other bags, and you're going to want to dump them in there. It's going to be like dog food floating on top of water. Okay, that's about what it's going to look like. You know how your dog has all that dog food in his mouth and it's all dropping in his water and it's floating? That's what it's going to look like. Then you take this hat and you're going to lay it down in here. Now there's a seal that actually comes inside of here and it kind of just sticks in there. And you want to make sure that it sits right in there. If you, if you can see real good, there's a little notch right here. Well this notch is actually going to sit on top of this notch and you're going to actually hear that just sit right in there. Just like that. See how that fit in there real good? You take your hander like that, and you pop it down. Because a lot of people try to put these in dry, and what's happening is when they're putting that in there, they're trying to force it down. There's two things that's going to happen. You're going to crush these beads. Second thing, you're going to crush your seal that's inside of this. There's another thing that I didn't tell you about this. They come with UV lights. Some come with, and some come without. Now, if it was me, I would do the UV light. Now once a year you do, you're going to have to change them out. And it's, it's very easy. 
If you have a problem changing, give me a call. I can just tell you how to do it. But there's two little knobbies up on top. You just take it, you pop it over, and it says open on it. This little piece comes right off. A couple of screws inside, you drop your bulb down inside. Just close this thing back on. And make sure, if you ever shut this down for any reason at all, for any reason, you shut the UV light off first. Because if not, you're going to burn the UV light off. All right. Now, this over here, we have a back flush. Now, with this, you can actually leave your pump running if you want. It's not going to hurt it. What you want to do is take this handle right here. Clean hands. Push it over to clean. As soon as you push it over to clean, make sure this is off. As soon as you push it to clean, your waterfall is going to stop. Once that waterfall stops, you're going to start seeing some clean water coming out for, at first. You're going to see it coming out. Then all of a sudden you can start seeing all this black garbage coming out. Alright? Now, there's two things you can do. What I would do is I would take a hose connect it to this before you even turn this on. Take it all the way out to your garden. Okay? Screw this baby on. Okay? Okay, this is still running. Your waterfalls is going. You're hearing all the waterfalls and you're getting ready to hook up. Take it right to your garden. Take it right to your roses. Take it to your yard. Make that yard beautiful. This fertilizer in here, all this fish waste, that is some good fertilizing. Ask my wife. She'll tell you about some good fertilizing. She's, she does a lot of good fertilizing around here. So, okay. You got this hooked up. If you want, you can put, poke some holes inside of these, in, inside of your hoses. And that way, when you turn this on clean and all that good comes out, it'll just start squirting out of your hoses. Now it's, it's doing your garden, it's doing your yard, it's doing everything out there. Now, as soon as you start seeing this water coming clean, come over here, push it to pot. Now, I'll suddenly go ahead while it's running and it's, your water falls is going, just take this off, go like this, put your dead cap on. Okay, your pot's clean. But there's another thing that you got to do, and I totally forgot to tell you. When you're taking water, when you're cleaning your system out here, you're taking water out of the pond too. Make sure you grab some dechlorinator, get it in the pond, add some fresh water to your pond, get it up to where you need to go, and make sure that every all these are on here before you do it. Okay? So thank you for checking us out, and we'll see you next week.